this one up to the 26. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run Let's blitz? Go. The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender Let's towards go. the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Yeah, great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance, but a short Let's yardage go. trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't it? Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw on second down. Rolling, and a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. Well, how about going into your defense? Thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch. But you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Over the middle, complete. That's Waters. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he there took the go. hit. And that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. Let's go! One, Off the play fake. Rolling. And this is caught at the eight. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. This is first and goal from about the eight. Let's go! What? They'll run it now out of the gun. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. They'll give it to him in the middle. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Here we go! From the gun on third down. Rolling. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there. Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! On first down, rolling. And now this is intercepted. My goodness! Picked off at the 36. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, Let's they go. should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, 
A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give him a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Off play action, rolling. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38, and a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Offense. And yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Still Another first down. Discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. The Seahawks were the most penalized team in the oh, NFL no. last year, more than nine a game. And now they've got first and 15. False start. Offense. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know the they first saw it. Bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Come on, let's go! Operating from the gun. Rolling. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Waters. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be second and 12. Clock running, and the Seahawks, they're running too, trying to speed up to the line of scrimmage. He's going to float this one deep right side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? It creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the Bears take... The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Well, for last week's performance, which was so good, he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week. He got a lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he go. told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves every position because anyone could go after the quarterback in their defense, and you can see how they've all absorbed their lessons. 11 yards on the pickup, and just like that, it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Off the play fake. Rolling. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 38, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37 yard. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. Hey, go down, go down. Let's go! Brand 38! And they'll run it here. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. to the second half now and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive looks like they're just totally out of sync whether they're running the ball passing the ball like we saw there i don't know the rhythm seems off good blocking there nearly sprung him as it is it'll go as a 19 yard return Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that... Rush coming, and he's taken down. Leonard Floyd coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defense is getting a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes... You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. Able to... And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 13, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's got some space here. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play and give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at the 24, and he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Make it back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove, and what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? You don't see it happen very often. Listen, if you get a pick six in a season, it's been a big year. Let him Throwing after the interception. Rolling. And now here is another interception. Picked off here the 32. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. The Seahawks offense now. They get set to go back to work. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want. And my goodness, another interception. 
Picked off at about the 31. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every the interception rolling and now here is another interception picked off right around the 43 and they will finally bring this run back to an end but not before he's down inside the five yard line at the four The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no again. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again throwing again rolling and my goodness another interception picked off near the 34 and he will score touchdown chicago <laughs> Defensively, they've had their way in this one. That pick six makes that scoreboard even more lopsided. I remember talking with a guy in the league, and I said, what do you do when the game's like this? You know, it's pretty much over. You ready to go to the bench and hang out? He said, oh, heck no. I want to stay on the field. I might get some stats. I might get a pick or two. <laughs> you like being out there at the end of these wide margins. More opportunities to go. Throwing after the interception. Rolling. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 39. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Bears, it was a great all-around performance.